y'all real quick how I hook this Ulyssa hair wig up now mind you I work with them many times and they have definitely changed evolved for the better because girl their wigs got um whole lot better on a whole new level girl okay so this is a five by five HD undetectable Swiss lace closure and I like this because the lace really is meltable now for one I did bleach the unit it did bleach the knots okay I did do that I hooked it up that's why you know you see it's looking real scalpage now for this part of the video I'm using my wax stick this wax stick is great I've had it for a few years it's like seven dollars you can find it girl I don't know how much it is right now because times have changed so when I bought it it was $6.99 so it's probably $25 right about now the way prices have gouged but I'm just saying it's a really good wax stick but if you can get a free one with the wig purchase then just use that but the hair is so sleek and long it's 180 percent density it is a virgin brazilian body wave hair it is a hd 5x5 and girl it just works really well for me i do like when it's a closure wig that's a lot more width to it and that's what i really like about this one it was super duper easy to curl as you guys can see here i'm just going to show you how i made it go from this to that and like you know a little bit of time there's nothing like chilling with my girls just me and my divas taking over the world So now that we got that all out the way, this is how she turned out, you know. I curled her, I styled her, I, I'm about to profile her. She came out really nice. Um, I did leave the pin curls in the hair for a few days, you know, so hopefully the curls came out right. I already know that they kind of dropped, but you know, you're going to see how it goes in the video. But like I said, the hair came out great. The Swiss lace, the HD undetectable Swiss lace on this is really, really good. Now, as I was saying about a closure, I'm not like the biggest fan of a closure, but I do like when they're bigger. Like if it's a five by five, if it's a six by six, girl, I think they even got seven by sevens. But by that time, you might as well buy you a frontal, like a 13 by four. I mean, I'm just saying, but I mean, to each his own. But I do prefer them to be a little bit more withier if I'm going to have to wear a closure. I'm not like huge on the sides for a closure. You know, that big, like, cuffing looking side i'm not really like big on that big cuffing like it looks like it's cuffing the side of your head not beyonce's cuff it we gonna fuck up the night no this is just a it just looks like it's cuffing the side of my head now this is the part where it's very crucial beneficial i take about two barriers two coats of this aussie instant freeze i let the first layer you know get tacky and then i'll spray the second layer on there girl now you can spray three layers you can spread you, girl spread as many layers as you like but just know that each layer needs to get tacky before spraying the next layer and then allow to get tacky prior to applying the wig now I mean, like i said this is a closure wig girl so it's gonna be super duper easy now for one let me tell y'all something i don't even know why when it's a closure wig do i ever have a problem with doing a baby hair it's like it seemed like whenever it's a damn ball on closure wig it's always an issue for me with some type of baby hair sideburn hairs some type of something i think it has to do with the sides like because the sides are cuffing the side of your head like straight up closure wigs have the cuffing sides okay and i ain't even trying to be funny i'm being dead serious the sides be cuffing you unless you pulling them back some so i'm gonna just you know wing it and just i'm gonna just go about my business and do the best that i can but as y'all can see i do prefer my baby hairs to be sparse short and sparse and 
I didn't really feel like y'all seeing me fight with the baby here. So I said, I'm gonna just clip those parts out and I'm gonna just put this band on. I'm gonna make it work and let it do what it do. But for the most part, I really didn't want any baby hairs because it's a closure wig. And I can't do no sideburn hairs on the sides because they cuffing. These are the cuff it season wigs, okay? But as you see, the curls did fall a tad bit and I wasn't really too happy about that. I did try to use some hairspray and so forth, but girl, listen, we're gonna show, we're gonna get to that part. So for this part right here, I felt like the 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 I should have used a little bit more of that purple shampoo to take out the brassiness in the lace. And I hate brassy lace, okay? That is like a pet peeve to me. I cannot stand to see brassy lace. So I took my concealer here by Ardell. Girl, you can get this concealer at the Dollar Tree. Yes, the Dollar Tree. And I just used a little bit of that and blended it in. Now, I, I have pet peeves, and one of them is brassy ass lace. I cannot stand brassy lace. It's orangey color. So I keep my purple shampoo on for like five hours. Never listen to them for five minutes. Five hours is always best, okay, when it comes to purple shampoo, all right? But just try not to make sure that it dyes the lace. So as you've seen, I did make another part, and that was because I wanted to give the wig some height. So I always put two parts on each side, and that'll allow the wig to kind of like sit up higher in the front, kind of give me like a boof, a boof. I don't know, girl. You know what I mean. But for the most part, she came out cute after I had to recurl her and all that good jazz. But girl, honey, listen, the wig is affordable. Your listener here has stepped it up in the wig game, and I'm proud of them. I'm going to definitely leave all the information down below. Y'all let me know what y'all think of this unit. I think she came out cute. You know, even so far, so cute to where you could just put like a little bit of tie on the side and rock out, baby. You know, do it like it's your B-day, all day, every day. Do it like it's your B-day, baby. Do it like you grown a sex day. And all the information is down below. I love you guys. I gotta go.